Now at 5, a CBS 4 News exclusive. I'm allowed to be here if, if, if nothing else. A Dolphin player's dreams dashed. Kendrick Norton speaking about the crash that ended his career. I'm, I'm alive, so that, that's one, one of the big things that's keeping me going. Tonight, his new focus for the future and life after football. Well, a week after the crash that could have taken his life, Kendrick Norton is focused on his recovery. CBS 4's Peter Dench visited him in the hospital this afternoon, and he has the exclusive interview from Jackson Memorial Hospital. Peter, how's he doing? Well, Francis, after spending some time inside the hospital room of Kendrick Norton here at Jackson Memorial Hospital, I can tell you that he seems in remarkable spirits. He realizes that his dream is dashed, that he will almost certainly never play pro football again, but he is indeed determined to make the most of his very young life. I'm as comfortable as I can be in the situation. I'm as comfortable as I can be in a situation. I'm, I'm doing, um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. Miami Dolphins defensive end Kendrick Norton is doing his best to recover after losing his left arm in a horrible truck crash. How are you staying strong, Kendrick? Um, the, all the support, all the support of the, of the fans, all the support of, 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 of the teams. Uh, everyone's support has been has been uh, great and. Uh, yeah, that's, that, that's really been what's pushing me, uh, my faith, my family. It was just after 1 in the morning on July 4th when Norton was injured. FHB says his Ford F-250 truck sideswiped a Maserati and hit a concrete barrier on the 836 ramp to northbound 826 and flipped over. I'm alive. I'm alive to be here. If, if, if nothing else, um, I'm, I'm alive. So that, that's one, one of the big things that's keeping me going. You know, I, I still am able to, um, you know, I'm, I'm still able to be here and, you know, see my family, you know, see, see my mom, my grandparents. You know, I'm, I'm still able to be here. The 22-year-old former star player for the Miami Hurricanes realizes his dream is gone. Realistically, it's, 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 not, it's not realistic that I'm going to be able to play, you know, uh, football anymore. So we kind of, we've, we, we're, we're, we're working past that. The reality is just sinking in on that, as, that I'm not going to be able to do something that, that, I've, that I've been doing. So. His attitude seems remarkable. If you're able to go through a situation, you should be happy because a lot of people are not going through it. People, families are burying people. So if you're alive, uh, you should be um. You should be grateful. The NFL has said it will cover Norton's medical expenses through the insurance of the league and the Dolphins. Norton also has a GoFundMe page for other expenses. He agrees with the saying that his glass is not half empty, it is half full. There's something in the glass, you're, you're okay, because a lot of people's glasses, and then they get in that situation, a lot of people's glasses are empty. So if it's half full, you, you're, you're okay. Well, FHP announced today that Norton was, in fact, cited for an improper lane change, in part because attorneys are involved in this case. He did not want to talk about the crash. Now, he told me he's not sure how long he'll be here at the Ryder Trauma Center. He says the focus right now is on his recovery. We're live at Jackson Memorial Hospital. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.